YouTube, what the crap's going on? Air of Carthage here, and welcome to Troll Country. No, not internet trolls. Not even any actual trolls, I don't think. Not in this battle. Anyway, this is going to be some FFA action um, with some folks from my Discord. Yes, I do have a Discord group. Go check it out. It's a great way to get involved in the channel community and in a great Total War community. You can go there, find games. Find friends, have all kinds of good times. Let's take a look at the armies real quick. As you can see, I'm getting things started quickly here. I've got a uh, Supreme Sorceress Dark mounted on a Black Dragon. I've got two Feral Manticore heading in. My main line is four Dark, or Dark Arc Corsairs. Wow, that took a second. Witch Elves, a Charybdis, a Canite Assassin, and a unit of Dark Shards. Let me speed up. Scream across the screen real quick. There's some uh, Tomb Kings over here. There's two Tomb Princes flanking Kalita. Ushabti with Great Bow, a Chosen of the Gods, Ushabti with Great Bow. I see three Halberds here in the center. There's a uh, Blessed Legion, a Scorpion Legion, and some Necropolis Knights with Halberds. A couple of Chameleon Skinks out here for the Lizard Men player, commanded by Rabid Squirrel, and that was Holy Pilgrim, by the way, with the Tomb Kings. Uh, we got some Skink Cohorts mixed with Saurus Warriors with Shields, a couple of Stegodon, and then we've got uh, Krokgar and a Scar Veteran. And then for the Beastmen over here, um, Colonel had, let's see, a couple of Gore Herds, Ungore Herds, um, there's several Ungore Raiders, a Minotaur, and then there's a couple of Centigors with great weapons, as well as one Harpy. Now, uh, let's get into the action quickly. Let you see what happens on my side first. I'm gonna hit the Beastmen. Um, I deployed towards them. I figured my Black Art Corsairs, uh, with their decentish armor, and anti-infantry qualities would be good at coming and bruising the beastmen. Also, I knew I had several units that cause fear and terror, and I wanted to play on the beastmen's inability to counter that sometimes. They can sometimes counter it. But I wanted the Charybdis in here, and then uh, I knew if I could contain the Centigors with great weapons would be in good shape. That's why I hit them with a breath attack. I wanted to go ahead and weaken them up. See the Black Art Corsairs here engaging the Ungors. They should do quite well versus these Beastmen unit. Best of Gore Herd, not so much. Yeah. Let's see, we're going to get in here. The Minotaurs come flying in, which is actually good because those were Witch Elves right there. And I think I can get a whole bunch of their big units tied up, which will allow me to dive bomb all these archers. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to try and save the magic and breath attacks on my dragon in case I make it to late game. I want to have some potent effects. I should be able to summon lots of winds with the powers of the uh, dark lore. And then my canine assassin has the dragon egg ability as well. And the ability to nerf enemy lords and heroes. So that's kind of what the army was here. I saw some centigors with great weapons headed my way and I was like, no, 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 no. I don't need that because my manticore are going to go crazy really easily. So I'm going to swing some infantry and other units in. You can see the Charybdis making short work of units here doing pretty darn good. We do have to deal with the uh, the Cygor, and then there's going to be a Cygor summon by a beast, uh, Shaman, Lore of Beast. Which is going to be a little bit problematic for me, but we'll be alright. I'm going to just run away wanna run away from it with my Dark Shards, that's what I meant to say. Let's go see what's happening over here with Beastmen and Tomb Kings. We can see over here, Kalita... Getting into combat here against some skink cohorts. These um, Necropolis Knights with Halberds got absolutely destroyed. I'm not sure what did it, but... Um, wow, they got wrecked. And it looks like the uh, skirmishing has been between the Stegodons and the skirmishers for the Tomb Kings. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Yeah, Kalita's in trouble here. <laughs> nope, she's going to run away, maybe? Yeah, the two Tomb Princes are coming to her aid. Yeah, on my, on my side, um, the Beastmen are in, in rough shape. Uh, it's just a mop-up operation now. I've got their Beast Lord pinned down, their Cygors pinned down, and we're just chasing stuff. So let's go make sure we keep up with this fight, not just what I was playing. Got some Saurus Warriors here trying to tie these units down. This is actually a pretty dangerous situation here for Kalita. they got to be careful. The Tomb Princess can certainly help protect Kalita. But if she ends up in combat with Krokgar or a Scar Veteran for very long, she is not going to be liking life. Oh, that hand of the gods. That was like Krokgar's shotgun, and it hit home. Wow, Kalita got absolutely jacked up from that. 
That was just, that was rough. That was rough. You can see Holy Pilgrim is picking up points here. Rabid Squirrel trying to fight his way back into this. Fight's not out of him yet, and it looks like he's got his eyes on Kalita. And not in the same way that Reptile King does. Oh! Come on, Reptile King, hope you're watching for that. Yeah, Kalita, sorry. This is one one time that there will not be a second date. <laughs> She is trying to get away from this, but this is the kind of fight at which Carnosaurs just absolutely excel. Kalita gets destroyed. Tomb Prince is anti-large, but yeah, they don't want this fight either. That's why there's uh, spear units and stuff coming in. And you got the Shabti with Great Bow kind of firing away, causing as much damage as they can to the Tomb Kings here. So the Lizardmen lose the infantry pite pretty convincingly and the Tomb Kings still have a decent number of units left but there's also a pretty fair number of units left here for the lizard men they're just gonna have to watch out though because of the uh, skirmish units the chosen of the gods is still firing away here too they don't have a lot of ammo left though so the uh, lizard men leadership looks like it's gonna survive like I said I'm over here just mopping up a few of these units and I'm gonna regroup into the uh, other side of the map so my fight against the Beastmen went very successfully as I'd hoped it would. That's my army composition. I brought this army because it's anti-infantry and it's hard hitting with a lot of terror and it's meant to tear up armies that have low armor infantry, low to mid armor infantry, which every, um, every single army I could face here, this army was intended to be decent against any of them. My flying core can quickly hurt lords. The canine assassin can nerf them and hurt them as well, as well as hurting infantry lines with some of his abilities. The Charybdis is meant to protect my infantry line from big monsters and to have uh, another thing for enemy large to focus on other than my prophetess, or a sorceress, sorry. And then the Black Art Corsairs are the anti-infantry duty here, right? These dual wielding Corsairs are really quite good against infantry that's not high tier. And then the Witch Elves, same story. They all have anti-infantry bonuses, so that was my intent. My infantry intended to clean up lightly armored infantry. The Lizardmen lined up here like they might actually want to fight, but then I think they thought better of it. You can see the Beast Lord here still being chased off the field. I'm going to go ahead and fast forward just a second because all the players are going to kind of reset a little and try and get in better positions. I brought my dragon up thinking I might try and do um, a blade wind. I do have blade wind, um, but I decided instead um, that I see some good opportunities for soul stealer. I need to get a few of my hit points back. I had full winds of magic at this point, and there's a scar veteran that's about to die anyway, and then there's also a tomb prince who's about to die. So I was like, yeah, this is probably my opportunity. I'll go use it. So the scar veteran didn't want any of it, and I was like, all right, that's fine. I can target the Tomb Prince. So I'll fast forward again here. The poor Tomb Prince isn't going to be able to get away from me. See, some of my infantry has had a chance to get rested. They're not going to like fighting Stegodons and some of the other stuff that's going to be left here, like Ushabti. Yeah, not going to be the best of times. This Tomb Prince is going to be sacrificed to the Sorceress. She's going to suck the unlife out of him, the life out of him, whatever it is. Okay, so that'll give me some of my hit points back, give my dragon a little more life and time on the battlefield here. And I've got um, my arcane conduit, and I'm going to use um, the power of darkness as well on one of my units so that I can uh, recharge my winds of magic all the way back to 30 and be ready to do this again. So that took a tomb prince off the field, leaves me solidly ahead in first right now. We just need to finish off these remaining units, and we should be in a pretty good position to do that. None of the tomb king's infantry is going to like fighting against um, it's going to like fighting against the uh, black art corsairs black art corsairs looks so dang cool drooky drooky yeah these uh, spearmen are going to be perfect fodder for my witch elves so i'm going to send them in really probably should have saved these for the big units to make them berserk but i was like whatever witch elves going to slay yeah, they're going to lay waste to these skeletons. And then the Black Art Corsairs, again, will do very well. These are actually the uh, leftover bowmen who were out of ammo. I'm going to dive my lord in here and help against all these Ishabti. But I'm not going to stick around for too terribly long, if I can help it. Because there are um, 
halberds around. But I see an opportunity to get a bunch of damage done on the Ashabti, and it's like, yep, let's do it. Jump in, let's do the damage. You see the Witch Elves over here already mopped up that whole legion of skeletons quite easily. Not that it was worth much. And you can see back here again the Halberds not really liking the fight against all my Black Art Corsairs. And then when the Halberds reach me over here, rather than stay and fight and take a bunch of damage, I'm just going to get all my monsters away. Let the Black Art Corsairs tank the rest of that damage. Because the Tomb Kings are getting a little bit of healing here anyway. So I'm able to get up and away. My Dark Shards are still safe. The Summoned Ushabti comes up. I've got a Corsair here, though. I'm just going to pin it down before it can get a bunch of charges. My Canine Assassin is still in decent shape. I use him here to nerf the Scar Veteran. And uh, that way I can dive bomb him and get rid of him. So he thought he was going to come in here and try and get a piece of this action, but the Canine Assassin nerfed him down pretty hard. It's Assassin's Trophy. And then he's going to get knocked out before Croc Gar can show up to support. So he, he got involved a little too early. But here comes old Crocky. Fortunately, we were able to get away. And because I want to land a big charge on Crocgar. Over here, my crypt just finally gets bogged down in a fight it shouldn't be in. It's picked up three chevrons, though. This thing has done spectacular work. Crocgar decides to go for it. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and dive bomb him with my leadership. And I hit him with the Soul Stealer as well. So my Lord's going to again replenish some of her hit points. And then get a hold of Croc Guard. So Croc Guard should be pretty much out of the fight. My Canine Assassin's over here putting up an epic fight. He's a one man cutting crew here. And he manages to survive in the face of all these Ushabti and these other infantry. He used his Dragon's Egg thing, and it actually did pretty good. Helped kill off a few leftover infantry units. Croc Guard is chasing off my Charybdis, trying to finish it. And the Tomb Prince is in turn chasing Krokgar, hoping to get the kill. These two are going to end up killing each other, I guess. Not if I don't get to him first, I guess. Looks like my uh, my Manticore is going to go berserk. Yeah, it gets the Tomb Prince, and then Krokgar is going to take off. So that leaves us with a couple of Stegadons, my Canine Assassin. My Black Art Corsair is going to try and hunt down these regrouped Saurus Warriors. They should be able to do so pretty easily. There they go, they're going to catch them. Black Art Corsairs are pretty fast. My assassin finally does rout, but he did a spectacular job. Kept the Stegadons busy. Now I should be in pretty good position to finish up this fight. I got a few infantry to help weaken up his halberds. If his halberds can stay alive, he might have a chance to take me down with the Stegadons, but I feel pretty comfortable at this point that I've got the right units. My Black Art Corsairs should be causing pretty tremendous damage here. Check that out. Soul Stealer. Gonna get a lot of my hit points back, use up one of my last breath attacks, and uh, got up to 105 kills now on the Supreme Sorceress. We're gonna be able to get rid of these Tomb Guards. So they're pretty much gone, but that just leaves the Stegadons. A few of my units regroup here and there in the background. But uh, it's time to get rid of Stegadons. One of them's gone. I'm just going to chase it out. And then my dragon's going to come finish this one off. So there you go. The Supreme Sorceress. The last bit here. Going to finish off the Stegadon. There come some Witch Elves to help. I'm going to actually use another Dragon's Egg over here on these guys just for fun. I don't think it even does anything. It's like, eh. Last second. Might as well use it. There you go, folks. I ended up with a Pyrrhic victory in this one. Really want to appreciate uh, Holy Pilgrim, Rabid Squirrel, and the Colonel jumping in on quick notice to come play some FFAs with me. I hope you all like these. I just wanted to do a couple of FFAs. I haven't done... I know I did one on the live stream, but that's another reason why I have this Discord. If you all want to play battles with me, like when I'm going to sit down and record, I'll probably just come into the Discord and say, all right, who wants to join? Let's um, let's play some battles. And we'll start doing it that way. So if you guys want to join the Discord, I'll, I'll still probably do some quick matches here and there, but... This way, if you want to be involved, hopefully want to be in the videos, play battles with me, come have fun. Like I said, go join that Discord. If you enjoyed the video, make sure and hit the thumbs up button. That helps me a lot. Helps people find the videos and uh, helps us bring more folks in, grow the community. And if you want to see more, make sure to subscribe. Click the bell so you get the notifications. 
And I hope to see you there on that next video because I will be back with more soon. See you later, folks.